just tuned in. Welcome to the Adrenaline Drive Time Show. My name is Cheeky Kuruka, the Soka Queen, and I am here with my homie, the original ZJ Heno, the Reggae High Priest. And we have introduced a very, very special person into the studio today. I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself to the Vibes Nation. Tell us. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Harrison Mumi. I'm very happy to be at Vibes Radio. Very happy to be in this studio. And I'm the president of the Atheist in Kenya Society. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So the conversation we're having, if you've just tuned in, is does heaven exist? Mm. But more than that, we're going to be asking Harrison many, many, many questions yeah. about atheism, about what it means. And the reason why it was really important for Heno and I in particular to have this conversation is recently we had the census. Yeah. And I know that one of the questions on the census is what oh. is your religion? religion yeah. And atheism was an option. Yeah. But I was speaking to the... I actually said... Mm -hmm. As a joke yeah. to the gentleman, I'm an atheist. And the look of shock and horror that yeah. was on his face. So I was asking myself, how can the census be fair if the person who's taking the census is going to be horrified by uh, the response that judge I give back? You. Or even judge you. Yeah. So how do we really know how people feel in the country mm -hmm. if the people who are taking our information are not objective enough mm -hmm. to allow you to have any answer? So first, Harrison, explain what is an atheist? I mean, an atheist is somebody who does not hold the position that deities exist. And uh, we also have atheists who are not necessarily strong atheists. Now we divide atheists into strong and weak atheists. Now strong atheists take the position that God absolutely doesn't exist. Absolutely. Okay. Mm. Of course, weak atheists take the position that God could exist. There could be a supernatural concept out there. But then there's no sufficient evidence, evidence. Mm. for the existence of a supernatural, a deity. Okay. So, but an atheist is essentially a person who does not hold the position that uh, the supernatural realm mm. uh, does not exist. I love it. Head over to the socials at Vibes Radio KE. What do you think? And please understand, the Adrenaline Drive Time Show is not like the experience that I told you about. It's a place of absolute non-judgment. If you think heaven does not exist, if you also subscribe to the idea that there there is no such thing as a supernatural realm. Mm. There are no deities. This is definitely the place that you can share that opinion without Heno and I being like, no way. <laughs> Please do not take this song as an indication of how we feel. <laughs> Bubbling Under is called Shut Your Mouth by Mr. G. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. <laughs> Chat them a chat. Pale, pale, eh, pale, pale, pale. Those are the sounds of Teddison John. The song is called Vent. And let me tell you, these are messages that Heno and I absolutely live by. Let people do what they want to do. Mind your business. If it's got nothing to do with you, why are you getting involved for? That's the kind of energy that we like here on the Adrenaline Drive Time Show. If you've just tuned in, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we have been joined by Harrison from the Atheist Society and we are having the broader conversation. Does heaven exist? Head over to the socials at Vibes Radio KE, but a precursor. Mm -hmm. The Adrenaline Drive Time Show is a space for open and honest conversations. Please, you're entitled to your opinion, no matter what your opinion may be, but let's keep the conversation on the socials respectful. I don't want anyone insulting anyone. We're not here. No one is coming for anyone. Yeah. Everyone is entitled to think what it is that they want to think. But the reality is atheism is a movement. Mm. People feel that way and people are entitled to yeah, feel exactly. that way. And their own opinion. And their own so, opinion, their own feeling. Definitely Vibes Nation, we're just having a conversation to feel like we don't push, we don't believe, Kenya Mr. Harrison and Asema. We're not here to preach to you or to say anything, but just give us your sentiment. Now, let's get Uliza, Uliza stories are heaven, come and exist. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, but I know you're saying no one is here to preach for you. Yeah. And I'm going to bring you in, Harrison, because mm -hmm. just in the break, when we were talking off air just now, Harrison said something really, really strong. And what he said was very often, people of different religious persuasions are actually quite aggressive with their opinions. So the idea that the atheist society should be silent with their approach is actually also pretty offensive. Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty offensive. I mean, uh, what we are experiencing as atheists is... Uh, a concept which I would describe as uh, um, some some sort of entitlement by exactly. the religious groups. You mm. know, they feel more entitled to opinions and uh, beliefs. And then, if you if you happen to be of a of a differing opinion, 
then they tell you that there's something wrong with you you need to know who Jesus is you need to know God who, who God is you need to love God you're going to go to hell and I think what we need to do is to instead of approaching the conversation from that perspective mm. let us just have a conversation and this is uh, something we've been trying uh, to do a lot uh, as a society uh, unfortunately what we are experiencing out here is a situation where you know we are being told you are even devil worshippers you're mm. satanist you don't belong to this country these are god-fearing you know countries devil, you know. yeah so i mean <laughs> we, we still feel that yeah. we need to push back uh, we know of atheists who are, uh, you know, even within their families, they are having a lot of challenges with their parents mm. just because they have taken a different position from how they grew up. Yeah. And so there's a lot of uh, issues out here to do with the atheism. Yeah. That's right. Don't touch that dial. We are still here with Harrison. It is going to be an interesting conversation. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. Cranium, cranium, cranium with his very, very cheeky lyrics that is called Nobody Has to Know Cranium. Let me tell you something. If any man or woman is telling you nobody has to know, you should probably question that kind of relationship. <laughs> it's as simple as that. If someone is saying, let's keep this thing chini amaji, let's question that kind of a relationship. Don't listen to the craniums of the world. No, I think cranium is talking about privacy here. Nobody have you know cheeky. Come on, you know no, the thing. <laughs> no, he's not. And that's, a, that's the kind of man that you should ignore. Look at Heno justifying it immediately. These are the men you stay no. very clear of. If you see Heno, Come on. Just, just give him a sign of an X. You're not interested. <laughs> the time is now 3.49 and we have been joined by Harrison from the Atheist Society. Harrison, so atheism. Again, we've been speaking off air a little bit. I think some of the points that you're making, we can bring them on air, yeah. is the history regarding Christianity in particular in this country and how Christianity even came to Kenya and yeah. came to Africa. Yeah. Yeah, I think in Kenya we were not originally Christian, neither were we Muslim. Uh, this is a historical fact uh, that in the last 200 years, for example, my great-great-grandfather mm. did not know, he was illiterate basically, didn't know how to read or write. And this applies to many, many other previous gen generations. Mm. And uh, both literacy, knowing how to read and write, and uh, coloniz uh, colonization and religion, they all came into particularly African countries from uh, from the west mm. and from um, the east that is from the arab countries so um what is happening is that um, we adopted these new religions and uh, some some of us for example in in, in western kakamega i i have people who Uriana. <laughs> <laughs> i have people who still believe in traditional african you know beliefs yeah. but you see now uh, after the colonization, we had to abandon those uh, beliefs. And today we describe ourselves as Africans, I mean, as uh, Christians, Muslims, mm. uh, largely in Africa, because that is how colonization, you know, what brought, what uh, came with colonization in, in, in Africa. Africa. And yeah. I think also to build on your point, when Africans say that they still believe in those traditional beliefs, we look down on them. It's, 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 it's actually very unfortunate that we are not sort of proud of some of these religions we invented. We look down on what we came up with sure. yeah. and then we think that what was brought by the colonialists is, the is best. superior. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that mm. is also part of, uh, you know, think about racism, think about um, how we look at ourselves as, 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 as Africans. Mm. We think the white race for some reason, you it's know, superior. Uh, is superior and yeah. you know what happened in South Africa. Mm. So there is an inferiority that goes with, you know, with, with Christianity and Islam and, and so on. Facts, facts, only facts being spewed here today. It is Thursday, which means it is a TBT day. So we are going to bring it to the 254 because we love our own. This is the sounds of Lavosti. The song is called On My Knees. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. That's right, that's right. And if you have just tuned in, welcome. We love to have you tuning in. This is the Adrenaline Drive Time Show. My name is Chiki Kuruka, the Soka Queen. And of course, I am here with the original ZJ Heno, the Reggae High Priest. And today we have been joined by Harrison from the Atheist Society. So Heno, we actually had a comment on our socials mm -hmm. 
referencing a Bible passage. Yeah. Um, so Mr. Joshua Mutembe and I say, my yes, heaven does exist. Because according to the Bible, it says Elijah went to heaven on a flaming chariot. And in Genesis, it says God created the heavens and the earth. So Mr. Harrison, how do you respond to that? But Mr. Harrison, before you do respond, <coughs> I think it's very important that we keep the conversation balanced. Yeah. So if you are a Christian, if you are a Muslim, you are very much within your rights to challenge Harrison. Mm. Head over to the socials yeah. at Vibes Radio K. We are not trying to encourage you into atheism. Yeah. Instead, yeah. what we're trying to do is have a balanced, fair, and open to conversation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, uh, we we have a lot of verses in the Bible. That's not just that's just one of the verses of the Bible. So there are very many verses of the Bible that make a lot of claims that for us uh, don't have you know evidence. Because for us, I think uh, we have reached a point in life. Mm-hmm. Uh, at least uh, where we now have a lot more knowledge, a lot more understanding about how the world works. So when you say that there's a chariot, that uh, somebody was on a chariot and flew to heaven, we now know that in the natural world, these kind of things don't happen. Mm. Um, we've never experienced that. We've never seen it. Uh, we've, we don't know of such a thing that has ever happened, but the Bible makes a claim that it happens. Yeah. So what happens is then the Christian who makes that claim has to provide more evidence than uh, what the Bible says. So and that's yeah. my challenge to Mr. Joshua. Mr. Joshua, mm. instead of just reading the Bible, uh, at Upe Kama, some extra uh, evidence. Eh? Mm-hmm. At Wambi, maybe there is a historian who who, who was um, present at that present time. At that time Akandika, Akaona, yeah. Akandika, Nape, or citation, things mm. like those. Eh? Mm. So I think for us, we don't just take claims because claims are there to be made. Eh? Mm-hmm. We are in an era where if you have a girlfriend, eh, you know, like if you're in a relationship, mm. you also don't just run, get into the relationship and believe everything your spouse says. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you have to take some claims yeah. and look at the evidence. I think that's how we are approaching the Bible. We're not saying you should not believe in the Bible. Yes, it's, it's actually your right. The Constitution allows you freedom of belief. Mm. All we are saying is that if you are to make a claim which looks supernatural, which looks extra you know it's not something we are, we are used to seeing mm. then support it with some evidence and then we start the argument from mm. there no i hear you um i mean i think what would you say back to the argument of this because i do think that's a very very valid point what would you say back to the argument that well the world has changed and at the time of jesus when the bible was being written there were miracles that were afforded to disciples mm, yeah. at that time yeah. that we will never be able to find evidence for yeah, yeah. in 2019, 2020 because the world has just so fundamentally changed. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. I think uh, the world has not changed. What has happened is that because the world has been there for, if you look at the history of the world, the world has existed for 4.5 billion years. Mm. What has happened is that, uh, you know, in the last couple of years, especially the last like 200 years, there was the Enlightenment period. Uh, where science became be, became a thing. People mm. were like, we have learned to be, be more critical, more rational, and more logical in how we assess things. Mm. Yeah. Do not touch that dial when I told you. I told you this was going to be a juicy fire episode today. Head over to the socials at Vibes Radio KE. I've also seen some passages from the Quran. We are going to be bringing them on air as well. But the time is now four o'clock. Do not touch that dial. What a perfect way to start the hour. Those are the sounds of Kimani Mali, part of the Mali Legacy family. The song is called Rule My Heart. And of course, we all know it is Mr. The Late, RIP, Robert Nesta Mali's birthday. He would have been 75 years old today. The time is now four minutes past four. You're tuned into the Adrenaline Drive Time Show with myself, Chiki Karuka, the Soka Queen, and of course, the original ZJ Heno, the reggae high priest. And tonight, mm-hmm. if you want a jam with Heno or myself mm-hmm. or Naz or Musical Sheriff mm-hmm. or Quam Box or, or Brian Bunde, Bunde yeah. head over to Bahama Breeze at 6 o'clock because we are celebrating the late, great the legend that will never stop living his name is Mr. Robert Nesta Mali aka Bob Mali and we are hoping to crown mm-hmm. a new king unveil. or queen mm. unveil a new king yeah. or queen of reggae mm-hmm. so we want you to head over our socials, there's still time a few hours left, find a smart phone sing a rendition of a bob marley song and tag us at chiki kuruka at zj heno at kwam box at bunde mm-hmm. at nazizi at musical sheriff yeah at vibes radio most importantly <laughs> singing that rendition and you never know tonight 
from mm-hmm. six o'clock yeah. in Westie, yeah. Bahama Breeze, you might be crowned the new king or queen mm-hmm. of reggae. Definitely. And kama awezi tuma iyo video yako sai, head over to Bahama Breeze, like Bechke amesema in answer six. You might just outshine what water wame tuma iyo videos. In so, fact, you might be a Mariah exactly. standing there and you just come on. <laughs> like, so. Let me sing one more song. One more. Let me try it out. <laughs> and you just kill the whole show. So, but, Vibes Nation, if you're tuned in, head over to Bahama Breeze. Bahama Breeze, Kupale Woodvale Groove Westlands. We are having a Bob's Day and we are unveiling the next next Nesta, the next Bob Marley. That's right. Mm. If you've just tuned in, we are having the most fire conversation today. We are discussing does heaven exist? And to give you some kind of background, we are also discussing different views, different opinions. We have Christianity, we have Islam, and we have atheism. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of the Kabbalah beliefs as well because I studied philosophy, so I can throw them all in. Some Buddhism, why not? I should throw some other beliefs in there. And we are having a conversation, does heaven really exist? Head over to the socials at Vibes Radio KE and let us know what you think. And in the next 25 minutes, ZJ Heno is going to be jumping on the ones and twos to give us our first one drop mix which is going to be a throwback mix so mm-hmm. again head over to the socials at vibes radio ke what is it that you would like to hear we have some dope music this hour trust me i'm not lying to you let me tell you what we have these are the sounds of ding dong but we also have some kathy matete we also have some estelle we also have some sean paul but for now the song is called holiday good vibes only on vibes radio if you tune into the website www.vibesradio.co.ke, Heno is almost, almost on his toes to get up and dance with us. We have been tr- joined today by Harrison from the Atheist Society. Harrison, kindly read out the message that you just received because this is really, really fascinating to me. And then we'll head over to Twitter and read the message that was sent in from the Quran mm-hmm. um, because I think it's important we have a balanced conversation. Everyone is welcome to their opinions. Yeah, so there's Timothy Lightborn who is saying, Harrison, before your time is up in this world, God will show up in your life and you will need to, pr- uh, to prove he exists. Mark my words and take it to the bank. Let me ask you something, Harrison, because it's it's fascinating to me that atheists are not even allowed to voice an opinion mm. without actually quite abusive and judgmental responses. Yeah. Whereas if you were to ever accuse a Christian, a Muslim or whatever of being abusive or judgmental, they would find that insulting in and of itself. Yeah. How do you manage that? You know, interestingly, the Bible says, thou shall not judge. And, and, and I think they need to look at that verse a bit more critically. Uh, but, but I think that what we need to do is to realize that now we are in a world where people are accessible to a lot of information, a lot of information out here. And, you know, you expect that we are going to have different opinions. On the issue of God, I understand people have very deeply held opinions about God. Mm. They have a very strong affinity, affiliation towards that idea. And I understand where they're coming from. But I think uh, when it comes to a conversation, just try and listen to the next person. Mm. Uh, If he doesn't believe in God, don't judge them. Don't tell them they're going to go to hell. Don't tell them that they're going to have a messy life. Because opinions are what makes us. Yeah, opinions yeah. about what make human beings human. If we all believe the same things, then there's really no point of, you know. And uh, it's also the irony, like you said, one of the first rules of Christianity is thou shalt thou not, shall judge. not judge. And mm. I think uh, if you feel that, for example, me as an atheist today, I should not be talking about or I should not be an atheist. I should not believe in God. Mm. Then, you know, you're ultimately judging, judging me because I have an opinion mm. which is independent from yours. Mm. And I should be allowed to air that opinion. Yeah. Henna, what has Suleiman said? So we head over to Twitter, Mr. Suleiman AK underscore AQM and I say my, I'm a quote from the Quran. It's who, who created for you all of which is on earth. Then he directed himself to heaven. Uh, quotes, uh, he, heaven being above all creation and made seven heavens and is knowing of all things. That's Quran 229. That's interesting. So Suleiman is saying not only is there one heaven, mm. there are seven, seven heavens. Yeah. According to the Quran. Mm. Interesting. Do not touch that dial. Harrison will be responding to these comments, but we need to head back to the 254. Bubbling under, we have that brand new record courtesy of our very own Miss Kathy Matete and Anthony B. It's called One for You. Stick around. Yeah, yeah. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. 
the sounds of Deville featuring Sean Paul. The song is called Always On My Mind. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. You know, there are just some songs you can never get bored of hearing. This is definitely one of mine, specifically because Deville and everyone knows I'm an utter sucker for vocals. Deville's vocals sound absolutely gorgeous. Welcome to the Adrenaline Drive Time Show. If you have just tuned in, the conversation that we're having today is about does heaven exist and we have some amazing amazing comments on the socials on twitter kuna bridge na pane to maxwell kenyata anasema as an actual place no as a state of mind yes the concept of heaven slash hell was invented by our ancestors as part of an uh, organized uh, religion's mechanism for obtaining and keeping followers it was also used to control their thoughts and behavior and it's still being used hadi waleo that's according to mr maxwell amazing mm. please repeat suleiman's um um suleiman's tweet tweets. so that harrison can respond to ah, the two of them so uh, suleiman's tweet goes like this uh, it's who who created for you all of which is in the earth then he directed himself to heaven and made them seven heavens and he is knowing of all things that's quran 229 no so i think uh, what suleiman is basically saying is that the quran mm-hmm. uh, has said that this is what god did he created uh, everything yeah. and uh, he, he he actually created seven heavens mm. and uh, i mean that is just a belief is a claim that has been made by the quran yeah however i can also make a claim i can say that uh, i was created by a cat with uh, seven you know uh, seven legs yeah. which is black in color and if i put that claim in a book um you know and 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 you choose to 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 challenge it it is upon me to provide evidence mm. now my challenge to those quoting the quran and the bible is that uh, for me i don't think the mere fact that the bible the quran says something means that it happened it means that it's a fact mm. and this is where we sort of part ways with uh, those who make this biblical or even claims from the quran i think for us we would like to hear evidence outside of those books because they make a lot of claims that mm. any book i can also write a book with a claim i can come up with my own religion and i think this is how i would like us to think about the claims made by the religious books yeah. and but i also think that whenever you're talking about any kind of religion it comes down to faith because i think if you also challenge yeah, 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 um, yeah, any religious person true it's very easy to find inconsistencies in the writing mm-hmm. and actually i know many both uh, muslims and christians who are happy to say yes there are inconsistencies but, but I- fundamentally this comes down to my faith yeah and i think it's okay for you to say well i actually don't have faith in these claims and i need more evidence you might not but i do you know yeah i think one of the things we look at as atheists when it comes to faith is the question we ask is whether faith is a good way of arriving at conclusions if i tell you that uh, i'm a millionaire and i tell you look um tomorrow if you give me your car i'm going to give you 1 million mm. now are you going to give me your car No. or you have to wait for some sort of evidence can you show me a bank statement or something yeah, yeah. records so, you know, yeah, or records mm. or something mm. you know you can't just walk with claims and what the, the issue with faith is that it 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 has a potential of making you believe in things that might not be true if mm. prophet word t- tells you that he resurrected mama rosa in kisumu and you say i have faith that he did that or he t- if he tells you he can cure cancer as a as a prophet of god mm. and you believe that what you happen is that you will take your child or your grandfather or your uncle who has cancer to prophet of war the question is what happens if he does not cure yeah. cancer so faith is not a very good way of approaching uh, issues of facts mm. whether things happened or not let's head back over to the socials because we've had a really interesting question one masaku chapel moto on um twitter asked do atheists have a belief system no atheism is a rejection of the idea that deities exist mm. yeah so we don't really have like a, a unifying belief system it's not like there is a book with a set of ideologies that brings atheists together However, uh, most atheists don't believe for the example that morality has anything to do with the supernatural. Mm. We believe in uh, mostly scientific theories. If you ask an atheist how the diversity of life came about, probably most of them will tell you that it's evolution. Mm. So we are more deep into trying to understand the natural world 
without the supernatural realm. But we don't have a unifying, it's not a religion. Mm. So it's not like now, but they have seen people telling me, you know, how do I become an atheist? There's no particular way of becoming an atheist. Yeah. It is you to think about it, look at what you believe, does it make sense? Mm. If it doesn't make sense, then you basically reject it. And at that point, basically, by definition, you're an atheist. atheist so we yeah. don't we don't like have a religion, a church or something like that. And um, so we were speaking a little bit off air and we'll bring this conversation on air right now because it's all well and good to say, you know, faith is harmless. It's harmless to say this is my this is what I want to believe in. This is what I choose to believe in. But actually, Harrison, you were saying something a little bit deeper and we'll have the conversation in a second that when religion dictates education systems, yeah. dictates constitution, yeah, yeah. dictates the law, actually it's not as simple as just saying, you know what, this is my faith, take it or leave it. Yeah. We need to be a bit more critical about the impact that those religions have on our day-to-day -day living. Bubbling under Atana featuring Amber Ro Alba Rosie. The song is called Blessing. We are nowhere near done. Those were the sounds of the first one drop mix. It is TBT, so Heno gave us that throwback vibe. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I decided to sing that and I can't <laughs> even sing, but like I said, you know, I always like to give it a go. Played you the uh, militancy rhythm produced by Winter James. Also played you the um, harmonious rhythm uh, that featured a duplet from Kabaka Pyramid and a record from Pressure Bus Pipe called um, Rest and Show. And bubbling under, we have the body and soul rhythm produced by Not Nice Production. Like I said we're keeping a hundred percent throwback like two three years ago that's the kind of records that we're playing Sour. this evening uh after afternoon is it afternoon afternoon no, it's, slash evening it's afternoon evening starts at five, five you're not very particular about that <laughs> <laughs> so uh vibes like to listen to anything at vibes radio ke at chiki kuruka at zj heno but we still have mr harrison mumia in the building that's that's right and i'm enjoying this conversation so much harrison thank you so much it's been so interesting so I think uh, something that we need to talk about because when you think of concepts like heaven, like hell, there's a very big morality attached to it. Yeah. It's you do good, yeah. you'll end up in heaven. You do badly, yeah. you'll end up in hell. Yes. So a lot of people kind of push the agenda of morality <coughs> by using these two extremes to kind of keep yeah. you on track. Yeah. But your argument is there isn't a need for religion for in order to be moral and in fact if you look at a lot of religious institutions they push actually just as much as the morality judgment and all of these other negative connotations that come with it so what would you say to someone who says yeah but you're an atheist you can't be particularly good or moral no i think uh, the first thing is to appreciate that uh, human beings by virtue of being um, people who needed to interrelate. You know, if you look at the evolution of, of human beings, we are the most cooperative uh, species. So that cooperation pushed human beings to have to um, to invent morality. And this is something which people don't really appreciate. That morality is a human invention. And uh, the idea behind morality is that we need to survive. For us to survive, you look, if you look at uh, maybe 200, 300 years ago, um, you know, human beings were not living in these big groups like Nairobi and Kisumu. No, we were in much smaller communities based on tribe, but we had to survive. And you see, because there were a lot of wars and a lot of, uh, you know, uh, you could get a tribe coming to, you know, uh, threaten you with this and that. Morality was the only way the human species could survive. And so the idea that morality has a relationship with uh, God or a supreme being is not true. After all, what we are seeing today is that um, if you look around, you'll see that there's a lot of immoral things going on. Talk about um, the, the, the murders that are happening. Talk about corruption even in this country. Uh, talk about if you go to the Kenyan cells today, you'll mm. see that even those who are being convicted of even small um, criminal offenses probably believe in a supernatural. That should tell you that there is nothing uh, God, there's nothing, uh, there's, there's no relationship be between morality and, and, and what you believe. Mm. And I think even me as an atheist, I see myself as a moral human being. I can I, I cannot do bad things to my neighbor. I've lived the last um, 40 years 
uh, as a fairly moral person i've never been convicted in a court of law and so um if you argue that morality comes from you have to be only be moral because you believe in god mm. then how do you explain my morality let me also mention that we have animals that are also very I was about moral. to say <laughs> elephants elephants are so incredibly moral yes elephants are they are very they feel very emotional and attached towards the group yeah. and if you look at an elephant mourning look at you know we've seen these videos of el- elephants with that literally m- yeah. mourning yeah. when the when the the, the calves die. die yeah yeah mm. and that shows that they have a moral a sense of morality and you've even seen look at how antelopes behave even uh, gazelles when the cheetah comes next to the the, the, the baby gazelle or even they the baby yeah you uh-huh. you see the animal trying to the gazelle trying to protect this animal yeah. against uh, the baby yeah. against the lion or leopard mm. and that is really a sense of morality that you want to protect uh, that another animal is not going to be hurt mm. now animals don't generally believe in god mm. or even uh, <laughs> the devil yeah. and you can see they are behaving morally and this again points to the whole idea that we humans are also very related to animals mm. cuz that's exactly what we do and that is why morality has absolutely from my perspective and even the scientific and historic perspective nothing to do with uh, a supernatural concept thank you hello let's head over to the socials i'm sure they are Fire! Oh my god. <laughs> so twanze na Timothy Laibona and Sam Harrison before your time is up. Actually in Kinyulu kumesema, let me not repeat that. Then Jenson Otieno and Sam Heaven only exists in religious people's mind. For us strong atheists we don't believe in such things. I'm very happy Mr. Harrison Amumia um, is in the studio and I enlight watu. Then uh, Beard King and Sam yes, heaven exists on human mind and not in a specific place. Glenn Sison KE and Sam no, it's not judging when you are told the truth you like yeah, it's uh, no it's not judging when you're told the truth you'll see like you are being judged what do you mean mr glen so what he's saying is mm-hmm. if he believes yeah. as what i don't know what religion he is but mm-hmm. whatever whatever religion he is mm-hmm. i'm not judging you i'm just telling you the truth ah okay okay moas frank and some tuned in there is heaven we are all believers and we'll go there after death <laughs> <laughs> then junior moha saying following Adi Aluta e story in a bam bam baya sana I just I just say anything then there is um Abdan anasema God created everything including uh, God created in everything including so God seven earth and seven heavens all books actually is quoting from the Quran, Quran yeah. but Quran, basically yeah. what does he say uh, is saying Quran does not make claims my friend I respect you and please tell me who created you my friend Harrison <laughs> I have a challenge for you this is from Ali Bashika Adana Thank yeah, you yeah. so much Ali when we come back <laughs> you can respond to that and we can also head over to the impact that religion has on things like education on things like our constitution. So make yeah. sure you do not touch that down. Of course, Heno is also going to be jumping back into the mix. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. Welcome to the Adrenaline Drive Time Show. My name is Chiki Karuka, the Soka Queen, and I'm here with the original ZJ Heno, the reggae high priest. The time is now 4.52 and a half, so almost 4.53, and we have been joined by the incredible Harrison. But firstly, let me just say something. A Santeni to everyone who's tuned in. I really appreciate all the comments that we have on the social media. I know these are very, very uncomfortable conversations for some people, and we appreciate you still jumping in on the conversation. I just ask that we keep our minds open. Yeah. Let's not judge anyone. Be you religious, be you non-religious, everyone's yeah. opinion is title inti- you're entitled to it here. Harrison, we're talking about the impact some pe- some positive, I'm sure, and some negative yeah. on religion on both the constitution and the education system. Yeah, so if, if you look at the history of Kenya, uh, especially in the 1990s during the clamor for multi-party democracy, the churches were very active and they were pushing for, you know, multi-partyism. They were also very keen on fighting for the human rights and uh, fundamental freedoms. There was the clamor for the new constitution. And uh, at that time I think the church was doing the right thing. And so I think uh, from my perspective there are some good aspects that the church and the religious societies push for and i really thank them 
for the things that they do that move us from one stage to the other. Mm. Uh, for example, when we had the 2007 uh, uh, violence, mm. you remember the church was also trying to bring the two protagonists together, which is a good thing because we needed peace in the country. Um, I mean, however, we are seeing um, our laws being driven by religious um, you know, um, ideologies. ideologies. For example, if you look at the preamble of the Kenyan constitution, it starts by saying, we the people of Kenya, mm. uh, believing in, the, in, in God Almighty, I think the creator of everything or something like that. That is in the constitution of Kenya. Mm. That is how it starts. And you see, if, if you can begin a constitution with that, then where do you place the atheists? Now, our education system, it is mandatory for children in primary school to run, uh, learn CRE, HRE, and IRE. Mm. Now, I have no problem with students learning and understanding religions. But the way these religious studies have been crafted by our education uh, ministry uh, is that when you're a Christian, you have to walk into a class where... Uh, a, a CRE teacher then will be the one to teach you CRE. Mm. If you're a Muslim, then you have to be in a different class where the Muslim teacher okay. will be the one to teach you the the Islam. What, yeah. what we are pushing for as atheists in Kenya is a situation where our education system, especially with regard to religious education, all, everybody, yes, mm. should be in one class and then let's teach even uh, Luya traditional, mm. you know, religion. How did Trukanas pray yeah. about a hundred years ago? What about the Maasai's? Remember the Maasai's had a god called Enkai or something yeah. like that. Kikuyu are Kikuyu praying, are praying Mount facing Mount Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. So what I want is uh, a situation where we transform our education system in such a mm -hmm. way that religion becomes something that we are learning. Uh, not something that we are being told we must believe. Yeah. And everyone's views are being respected because actually I went to Catholic school. Um, and actually the law in the UK m encourages that. In fact, you have to do that despite the fact that I was in Catholic school and of course we were taught predominantly by nuns. Nonetheless, the nuns had to teach us Islam. The nuns had to teach us Buddhism. The nuns had to teach us atheism because it was never, oh, yes. it was about yes. learning. Yes. It was yes. about yes. learning different perspectives so you can then make an informed decision yeah. about your own perspective despite the fact that it was a Catholic school. Absolutely. Yeah. And you see, this is why for me, education is about learning. It's not about beliefs. Mm. It's not about belief. Facts. Do not touch that dial. Good vibes only on Vibes Radio. Voices of Versus Simmons are record called Gantown playing exactly at 5 or 9 p.m. We are still having the conversation with Mr. Harrison Manze. Now, before to watch a uh, bounce, kuna maswali mbili tatu mbaka a answer. Uh -huh. So, kwanza watu wanauliza, uli toka wapi, unasema believe in God and all that. Where did Mr. Harrison Mumia come from? Um, I, I, I think uh, to begin with, I was, I was born mm -hmm. by my mother. <laughs> that is my immediate understanding of how I came to, 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 to exist. Mm -hmm. um, but if you push back, I think uh, science has now explained why we exist yeah. uh, in terms of the, the diversity. I believe in the theory of evolution. I do believe that uh, at one time we didn't exist in our current form. Mm -hmm. So um, in terms of ultimately how life began, because I think that is the issue, I don't think there are any scientists who have a very clear answer to that. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm comfortable with uh, not understanding uh, exactly how life began. But in terms of where I came from, I do believe that we evolved over a period of... Uh, uh, thousands of years, yes, yeah. yeah, and I I do believe I'm here because uh, my mom, uh, together with my dad, uh, <laughs> don't forget him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Put me in this world uh, through, you know, uh, biological process. Uh, yeah. yes. and, and actually what I find really interesting is because there's a lot of scientists who are also uh, not necessarily very religious mm. who would also say maybe it's plausible that there is a supreme creator. Yeah. The, 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 I think a lot of the problems and the reason why we talk about heaven and the reason why we speak about morality is everything else that's attached to it. Mm. So just... It, it might be the case to whomever made that comment, mm -hmm. it's plausible to say that yes, a supreme being created you. Yeah. But where does, where does, how does that then automatically mean the being is good, 
the being is loving, mm. the being is everywhere, mm. the being judges you. Mm. Like those two things don't necessarily uh, have to interrelate with one yes. another. And I, totally, I totally agree. And I think the issue, it, it's okay to believe that we had a creator. I mean, um, human beings are always trying to understand, you know, how the world works. Mm. I, I Even me, I would... It is fascinating. I mean, I would also say there, there probably was a creator who created me. Yeah. And I think what, uh, what the point she's making is very valid. That you then don't say that this creator then is the one who caused you to have an accident or gave mm. you this disease. Or is the one who is going to make you go to heaven or hell. Or mm. is the one who is in charge of your moral life and things like those. I think there's a disconnect uh, between that. But the problematic argument in terms of this idea that there's a creator is um, we really don't know the nature of the creator people mm. talk talk about the creator as a god mm. and the bible and the quran of course propose a certain kind of god uh who of course uh, has some attributes, attributes has mm. some behaviors if you look at the old testament and so on but you see if from an atheistic perspective if, want, if, if uh, f- uh, an atheistic perspective if i was to conceive of a creator then I would have the problem of defining mm. what that creator was. What that creator uh, yeah. is. What are his attributes? Who is he? Or her? Who, is he male? Is he female? Yeah. Is he a lesbian or, mm. or a yeah. gay? Yeah. What yeah. kind of creator is it? Is it even a human? Mm. Does he have human characteristics? Or is it just some ghost somewhere? You know, so, you know, these are some of the deep philosophical you questions, know, and questions actually, that come there up. Is, there is a lot of writing, even by religious people, actually, about the need to define a creator with regards to the human characteristics because it's when you use those human characteristics that there's a lot of hypocrisy and there's a lot of kind of like um, mixed messaging, you know? If you can't call someone all loving and then judgmental at the same time, you know? It's when you start using those human characteristics. And actually, I read a really interesting article. It's humans use what we have. All we know is humankind. Mm. So if we're going to describe something, we're going to always use our own related to related to our own yeah. way of thinking so mm. as humans you're judgmental as humans you're jealous as yes, humans yes, you're yes, all yes, of yes. these things you know so when you're talking about a supreme being there's o- that we can only use the terms that we know to, to describe yes, it yes. you know actually one of the things which uh, we have been debating as atheists if you look at the biblical even the islamic god Mm -hmm. you see certain humanistic characteristics in them these are people who are jealous remember the biblical god was very jealous of other gods Mm. he got annoyed he got angry and when he gets angry you remember he plagues plagues and so on and you see for us we are saying if god has these humanistic characteristics our argument is that this is probably a god that was invented by a human human Human. beings Mm. and i think that's an an argument we've fronted several times (laughs) because if you're talking about a God without the Bible, then you'll be thinking of a totally different idea, yeah. you know, of a God. Harrison, this has been fascinating, but it's time for you to give us your parting shots in 30 seconds. What is your parting uh, shot? I, I mean, I just want to thank both of you for inviting me on this show. This is a conversation that I think uh, is an important conversation, and I want to tell at least the atheists out there. I know uh, the, the, we, are are not alone. we are a minority. <laughs> <laughs> we are a minority, but uh, we have an atheist society. Society registered by the government of, of Kenya today, mm. and it just like you to hit up hit us up on the website. Register. We normally have monthly Give meetings. Give them a website. Yeah, it's www.atheistinkenya.org. Mm. Go there, fill that form. Yeah. We have we normally meet for coffee, you yeah, know, yeah. and we meet for meetings every month. And we discuss all these things, and sometimes we get people who tell us, you know, me my family didn't want me to hear to me I'm an atheist. Yeah. We are telling you come to the meeting, meet other atheists, and just uh, be free yeah. and uh, meet other atheists because we. We are a minority and we need to like interact mm. so and to actually, feel at home as what i would encourage it even if you're a, not an atheist absolutely go, absolutely. And, go, hear, and, go yeah. and hear the arguments uh, go and hear the conversation absolutely if you have some issues like you want to come and tell us you know what um you guys yes you have uh, you don't believe in god but let me tell you this is why god exists come mm. and let us have that open conversation mm. we're going to have it over tea over coffee over some drinks mm. and let's just have fun because this is a country we have gotten to a point where even the constitution allows for diversity freedom of religion freedom of belief freedom of conscience those are inter, uh, in, in in the constitution Enshrined in the constitution yes, yes. thank you so much harrison do not- good vibes only on vibes radio Good vibes only on Vibes Radio.